Well, we're joined now by uh, Lee Manson and Tom Paranello, joint managers of the under-18 side. And uh, guys, you've got a very important game Thursday night. One to look forward to? Pretty much so, yeah. Uh, first round of the FA Youth Cup against uh, Forest Green at the Mem under the lights. It's, uh, it's a big game for the boys and hopefully we'll get a, a good outcome in front of some supporters. It'll be a good opportunity for people to come and watch and see what the 18 is all about. Yeah, I was, I was saying to Alfie Clark just now that it, it's a good opportunity for, for them to play at the Mem. I don't think any of them have played a competitive game out there. Is that right, Tom? I think that's correct, yeah. I think last season the two draws were away in the Youth Cup, so we haven't had any opportunities to play there. So like, like Mans has said, it's a, it's a great um, showcase for the boys to go and put on a good display. We're not hiding away from the fact that it is a big game and it's a, it's a pressure on the game because ultimately if they get up to the next stage, they're going to have to deal with pressure and being in those situations. So it, it is a pressure game and the pressure is on the boys to go and perform. And we fully believe they can and hope again for a positive outcome on it. Mans, they're in your league, Forest Green, and you've a 2-2 draw, I think, against some second game of the season. Was that a fair reflection of that, that game, that, the result now? Um, well, it was early stages of the season, so they were still getting used to us and we were still getting used to them. Um, they've worked a lot since that time in, in shape and how, the, how we want to play, so it will be a different opposition for them um, on Thursday. Uh, but going back to that game, it was. I mean, we got we created two really well worked goals, um, and unfortunately, two bits of sloppy play, sloppy play, conceding us getting a draw. So um, we've come back from a. I think we were we were due to get three points there. We were hoping we were going to get three points, but unfortunately, we didn't. So, but that was kind of a catalyst of what we've gone and done for the rest of the season, and we went on a great run of late. We've come off it a little bit now, so it's a good opportunity to bounce back on Thursday. Tom, I read your match reports. Uh every week and uh, every week you, you seem to praise the boys for, for taking on board what you tell them at half time in spite of your, your your poor start and you've lost the last two but you had a purple patch when you won five in a row I think yeah I mean we had, we knew from the start of the season that it was coming I think the performances from, from day one have been very good for the most part I think by the Cheltenham away game in the cup um, we've probably deserved to get something out of every game we've played in so we knew that the results would turn if, if the boys kept going um, so we fully believed in them. <clears throat> we got we got on with our work. We, we got our heads down and got back to the training ground. But the purple patch was a result of hard work and and desire on the training ground. You know, and I think having stepped off it recently, the best possible response to go and put the last two defeats right is Thursday. Uh, we have stepped off it, and you know, it's it's a good opportunity for the boys to go and again showcase what they got. And Mance. You're new to this side of of the, of the uh, of football, if you like, coaching, and you seem to have uh, hit the ground running with Tom beside you. And the, the, the lads speak very highly of both of you, the way you put your ideas across. Uh, are you enjoying it? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what, a <question. laughs> what a stupid question that was. I am, to be honest with you, I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying, obviously, getting to know the uh, the darker side of the game, which is obviously, the, you know, you don't get all the glitz and glamour and, and things like that. So. Um, yeah, to, to learn how to coach and obviously Tom's had a lot of experience of coaching to, to feed off him, to feed off Dan, you know, Biss, the, all the staff in the academy is, is a really good experience for me. Um, obviously it's well known I want to go and progress further in coaching as that probably does Tom and, and everyone around here. So it's a good learning step for me at the moment. So as I say, I'm enjoying being out on the training pitch, not as, not running around but standing on the side, but it's the next best thing. So for me, I'm still the, the main thing for is we're still learning and we learn together as it and as a group as well, you know, we include Dan in that, who's the goalkeeping coach. Uh, the three of us do everything to resemble as much as we can a first team environment for the boys because ultimately that's where they that's where we want them to go and that's that's our aim and that's our job is to produce professional footballers for this football club. I see a lot of first team games, home games anyway, uh, watching from the gantry whenever you're allowed up there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, are you still learning? Is that you, is that your your way of, of continuing your, your education, if you like? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still in. We're still, we're still in around it. We get, we liaise a lot with the 23s. Although we're miles away from the first team, you know, we're based in Yate. They're at AXA. Um, they don't really see what goes on down here at the moment, and it's it's very tough for our boys. Ideally, we'd like our boys to go and watch the first team train, maybe even join in with them, so they get a feel and taste of it. Um, but fortunately, that's not the case just due to location at the moment. So, the quicker the training ground happens, the uh, the better. But yeah, I mean, we're in and around it all the time. We we listen to what the gaffer says afterwards in games, and we're watching. We're taking things, bits and pieces from the first team because, as I said, we have to reenact 
for what the first team do for these boys. I mean, there's no point us having a team that plays out from the back and plays through the thirds and, and, and God knows what look, plays pretty football because the first team don't do that. So they're doing they're doing something completely alien to it. So we've got to now take what they do from the first team into these boys and hopefully that progression then will then see them go up to the 23s and then hopefully the first team. Tom, your boys confident ahead of Thursday night? Um, obviously, the, the two recent defeats may take a little bit of confidence out of them, but I think it's, it's, it's a cup game. It's a one-off. I think the, the run before the last week or so, you know, the five wins on the banks, they should be full of confidence. I think we know as a group of staff and players the, the capabilities of the group. Um, we've never shied away from the fact that we think it's a good group. Um, so they know that we fully believe in them as staff, and I think the the environment and the culture we'd like to think that we've created this season is, is one full of confidence and, and togetherness i.e. mirror in the first team and I think that, that hopefully will stand in a good step for Thursday and the prize is an away tie isn't it? yeah we are drawn away to Oxford or Gloucester which again is being played Thursday night so you know ideally we'd love the home tie another one at the Mem but I think more importantly we've got to get through this one first and then focus on the second one if, if, if we're lucky enough to get through so for everyone watching what time's kick off on Thursday? 7 p.m. At the Mem. At the Mem. And is there extra time penalties if you're drawing? Extra time depends, yeah. You do it first time, do you? That's what we're hoping, <laughs> hoping, yeah. Uh, but it, it's, a, it's a good op- at the end of the day, I know, it's, but it's a good opportunity for the boys to, to play in front of the manager as well. Um, it's going to be their, their first taste of obviously being at the Mem. So if we can get a few numbers through the door as well, you know, create that little bit of an environment that they see on a Saturday and we can try and create a little bit of that on Thursday night, it'd be brilliant if people can get off the uh, off the sofas <laughs> end of the cold <laughs>